on, bro. I need you to get to my house. It's been getting super violent lately. I'm really scared it's gonna hurt me or my family. My name's Matthew Megarachi. I'm from Monroe Township, New Jersey, and I think I have a demon following me. One day, my sister came home with this Ouija board. Yeah, we played it every single day for a year. Nothing could prepare us for what started happening. It didn't start getting violent until me and my family went to this house. And what this house is, it's just evil. There's weird things hanging. Doll heads, clown puppets, signs saying, get out, get the head. Whatever attached to us liked this house better than that sh hole over here, so now it's staying here. The most recent now that happened with the mimicking was when I heard myself. And when you hear yourself talking, that's how you know this place is utterly fucked. So do you think we should be careful tonight filming? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna get something thrown directly at you. We're gonna do an experiment tonight. Connor and I are gonna sit outside. We're gonna leave him alone in the house and see if we can bait this demon to come out. We came in, we just came in. I command you to get over here. No, no. Yo, what the fuck? They fucking left the room. Oh, Kill, kill. Oh my God. What do, you, do you feel like, like a lot of negative energy built up right now? Yeah, 100%. It's all the negativity and it's feeding off the negativity and it's responding and it's matching. It's entertaining for it. On tonight's episode of The Paranormal Files, we present to you one of the darkest, most evil, most violent stories we've ever covered. Usually, we investigate haunted locations. Tonight, we're investigating a haunted man. I've been thinking lately about the writing on the wall. Matty is the subject of tonight's video, and what he's seen and what he's gone through is completely inexplicable. And let me tell you, it's frightening. It's very, very scary. This story, this episode, this haunted, it takes place on a normal street in a normal house in a normal city. This is not a haunted sanitarium or a, a violently haunted prison that we're investigating. This is a normal house that is inhabited by a normal family. And I think that is what is so scary. This is a very special episode of The Paranormal Files, and like always, I want you guys to pray. I want you guys to cover yourselves, protect yourselves with good energy. In the past, we've had people watch our episodes and have their power go out. They've had windows shattered in their homes. They've had scratches appear on their chests. So seriously, especially with this episode, this entity, this thing that's followed Maddie, please protect yourselves, watch with caution, and as always, welcome to The Paranormal Files. Today it's my privilege to host this program on a little known area in law enforcement, but important to every small community and every large city across our vast country. It's the area of satanic cults and how they impact our families, our children, and our communities. In satanic occultism, that which is good is bad. That which is bad is good. And as you view this learning and educational tape, pay attention and notice the reverse of everything that is normal in becoming cabin. There are many crimes that are unsolved in our cities, and many of those crimes have ritualistic overtones, but they're hard to find, difficult. And so today we hope to be able to shed some light on a dark, dark area, an area that has been taboo for so many years. Anytime you do have a situation where you find a ritual site where you are you find graffiti that shows uh, some kind of satanic uh, situation, then uh, you need to look at it and investigate it. My name is Matt Megarachi. Hold up, the moment that we started the interview, my camera battery died. Look at that. Can you see that? Yeah. Right there. The moment we started. What the fuck? Okay. And we've barely filmed anything. We've on, also, on anything. we haven't used this once today. Yeah. And this is never in an interview, ever, have we had this happen. No, never. I, and we took all these batteries off the charger 
this morning before we drove. I charged out. these batteries all f***ing night. And it wasn't like yeah. we had like I a super long said, yeah, drive. Yeah, you were like, the, you, I'm char said, everything's charged, charged up. Yeah, and this is completely dead, bro. And the drive what? over here was only 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, brother. My name's Matthew Megarachi. I'm from Monroe Township, New Jersey. And you guys have now entered the so-called demon house where this demon that I think is following me now um, resides here with me. Before all this started, I was, you know, a normal kid. I played football my whole entire life. Families were coming to the games, everything was fine. I had tons of friends and family over this house all the time. You know, just normal kid stuff, no paranormal activity at all. Didn't even think about any ghosts or spirits, demons, devils, any of that type of stuff at all growing up. I really didn't even know that it really existed until, you know, one day my sister came home with this board, game board we thought it was, and on the board it said Ouija, Ouija. People say Ouija, Ouija. And we asked my sister what it was and she said it's a way that you can get in contact with people who are dead, ghosts. And we didn't believe her. We thought it was, you know, bullshit, to be honest. And we were like, all right, let's go right now and go try this out. So I'll never forget the day when my sister brought it home. We went upstairs into my room and my room has a pull down attic. And you know, just to make the scenery a little bit more scary, we went up there, me, my two sisters, and my mom. My mom was pretty interested as well. We did the Ouija board and we started asking it questions. At first, we didn't know how it really worked. My sister explained that there's a plachette, looks like a kind of like a diamond or like a triangle that goes on the board. Everybody puts their fingers on the board lightly and whatever questions you ask, the spirits will push the plachette to what it wants to respond with. And we started asking it simple questions and you know, everybody when they play the Ouija board says, it, oh, you're moving it, you're moving it. And we said the same thing, oh, Sam or Danielle, mom, are you moving it? Everybody responded no. And then we started becoming, you know, infatuated with it because we would ask it questions that nobody would know. Uh, a crazy incident would be when my sisters both were gymnasts and they had a meet the day after we were playing and we asked what the score would be on the bars or floor routine that my sister was doing and it spelt out these numbers. My mom wrote down these numbers and these exact numbers that the Ouija board spelt out came out the next day on the, her score and we could not believe it. Like. We could not believe it, so we're like, this is real. This is real shit. Giving us these is numbers. Is that light flickering right now? Come yeah, it is. It's around. going. Oh. What was that? Oh. That just started flickering, bro, the moment you we started talking. Did you just hear that, bro? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> no. Anyways. The Ouija board. So we were playing with the Ouija board and it was, you know, saying these numbers and it was being exact and we couldn't believe our eyes and we were like, this is real and, you know, this is unbelievable. So we started asking it more questions, like questions that, you know, only the so-called ghosts would know and I, I, I remember asking it, I remember asking it a certain question that only I would know and I actually didn't have my hands on the board and just my sisters and my mom did and I knew the answer they had no idea and it gave us that answer so you know we became like I said infatuated we were playing with it every single day I'm not even kidding when I say every single day every single day for I don't know a year straight oh, nothing wait, wait, did you hear that? I did what was that? that was like a, like voice. a female voice I don't know. All right, um, yeah, we played it every single day for a year and nothing could prepare us for what started happening. Just like that, we started hearing small little, you know, noises, voices, things walking around, doors opening and closing. 
and then it became stronger, whatever this is. Toilets started flushing, sinks started turning on. Then it turned into apparitions, seeing outlines of people and then they're not there. Like, and then you start thinking you're crazy. Like I just saw somebody and then you blink and they're not there anymore. Or you're looking and speaking to somebody and then at the corner of your eye, you see something fly past in your peripheral vision and you're both like, what was that? You saw that? Yeah, we don't know what it was. Like that happened constantly. Then it got even stronger. It started turning into scratches and hair pulling and stuff like that. Oh shit, that's weird. That's my psychic friend. Really? Yeah. What are they saying? Let's see what they say. Tony. Hey, what's up? So listen, I got um, the film, my friend uh, Colin, he's a YouTuber, you know, they're doing the ghost stuff right now and some crazy shit is going on in the house right now, like crazy fucking shit. In your house? Yeah, like, they're listening to you, We're, they, we, I got you on speaker right now, what do you think is going on? That's because you're, you know, the, the anger that's built up in your house, it's created this energy vortex of, uh, you know, it's like mimicking, it's like mimicking what, what I really feel like this energy vortex has created in your house, where it mimics the, the negativity that you have in your house. Now, do you think it's, what do you think about the, how many spirits did you say that were in this house? There's multiple spirits. All right, listen, I'm in the middle of an interview. I'll call you back. There's like five or six. Five or six? Yeah. What do you, do you feel like, like a lot of negative energy built up right now? Yeah, 100%. It's all the negativity and it's feeding off the negativity and it's responding and it's matching. You know, if you flip out and you start screaming, it's going to mimic that level of what you're doing. So it's like an energy vortex. So all the negativity is manifesting into one ball. So whatever's going on in your family, it will mimic that. That's what's happening. So do you and think... It, it's, it's doing that because it's entertaining for it. So do you think we should be careful tonight filming? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you're going to get something thrown directly at you. If you, if you don't be careful. That's so really you what you that, feel? It's gonna, it's gonna throw something directly at you. Oh god. Could it, like, potentially hurt us filming? Well, if it throws something at you, yeah. Jeez. I mean, it fucking hits you. Do I think you're gonna die? No, but... <laughs> whatever, you know, if it starts getting violent and stuff, your the energy is just gonna... It, it's gonna... It's gonna fuck you up. All right, all right, bro. Let me call you back. Uh, all right, I'll talk to you later. So, uh... Holy shit. That was <laughs> ominous. Jesus, yeah. dude. This stuff, like doors opening, closing, and hearing things wasn't all of it. It started getting pretty crazy, but it didn't start getting violent or, you know, crazy as I'm saying until one day me and my family went to this house and it's actually across the way from my house if you were to walk in a straight line and just keep going you would run into this house and what this house is it's just evil this house is just very very evil you could just tell from the look of it the feeling you get when you're around there it is just something that you don't want to be around and i had no idea about this house until my dad when he was walking the dogs one day he stumbled across it they brought me there and when i tell you the fear and the feeling that i had in my stomach and my chest i just did not want to be there whatsoever. So what this house is, it's an abandoned shack that has these, well, first off, it's surrounded in bamboo. Like there's bamboo wood, wooded around the whole, the whole thing. And from the bamboo poles, there's weird things hanging and not just like anything. Doll heads, weird clown like puppets sign saying get out death ahead just all negative energy type things and then in front of that is a, an abandoned house it looks like somebody went there and used it for a satanic cult satanic rituals like um sacrifices and stuff like that 
and I would not be surprised one bit that when we went there, something followed us and attached to me or one of my family members and they that whatever you know attached to us liked this house better than that shithole over here so now it's staying here and i think it also sees that there's other spirits here and who knows that you know attachment that could have came from that other house could have came here and taken over in the levels of let's just say the ghosts and now is running the place here after we went to that house a lot of violent stuff started happening scratches hair being pulled i got scratched the other day and i'll go into that but i was bleeding profusely from my back and then it also doing started doing other poltergeist type activity that only a strong energy source or demon as we would like to say could do and that's mimicking a family member or a friend's voice like me my mom, my sisters, we have all heard each other's voices when that person who we hear speaking is not home and exactly like it. One instance was when I was in my room late night, three o'clock in the morning. I went downstairs, I was gonna go downstairs to go get a drink and I heard my mom call my name and say, hey Matt, come downstairs. And I didn't think anything of it. I was like, yeah, I'm coming down now. And then it clicked in my head, wait, it's three o'clock in the morning, why is my mom up? Something just didn't sound right. So I went to my mom's room down the hall, opened the door, peeked inside, and my mom was dead asleep. So I started thinking, you know, maybe I'm, th maybe I'm just hearing things. I shut their door, was gonna go back downstairs until I heard my mom's voice again after just seeing her asleep in her bed. And when that happened, the feeling of dread that I got sink into my stomach, I'll never forget. My mom and my sisters, they were sitting on the couch watching a movie and they heard me screaming. Like for whatever reason, they thought I was maybe playing video games or, you know, just on the phone yelling. And they just kept saying, Matt, keep it down. We're watching a movie. We're watching a movie. We're watching a movie. Until they got tired of hearing me yell. They go upstairs in my room. I'm gone, I'm not even home. I had gone out an hour before they heard that. And the most recent now that happened with the mimicking was when I heard myself. And when you hear yourself talking, that's how you know this place is utterly fucked. I was in my room, I started hearing my voice playing, saying, help me, help me. Mom, come down, help me. So I thought my phone, you know, was playing like a video from my TikTok or, you know, something was going on from my phone. And I looked at my phone and it was a black screen. And then I thought I was going crazy until I opened my door, the TV was off, and I heard my voice again saying, Mom, Mom, come down here, Mom, help me. And it's my voice. And when you hear your voice, I mean, that level of freakiness and dread that you get is like no other I've ever felt before. And I honestly believe that the entity in my house thought that I was actually my mom. So... Do you keep hearing that? Yeah, and that... The lights stopped flickering too. Well... I really believe that the entity thought I was my mom actually and it was trying to bait my mom to come downstairs. It didn't know that I was actually home and not my mom. So I'm just thankful that it was me that was home because if my mom had been home. What the f***? Bro, what the what f*** is going on? We're the only ones here. It sounds like... Like someone's moving shit in the kitchen. Yeah. I know. It sounds like a plate or like a cup like is a moving. Cup. Like, like a someone's like putting a cup down. Yeah, yeah, that exact that exact sound. But I'm gr I'm glad that I was home and not my mom because it would have literally baited my mom downstairs into thinking that I was in trouble, and uh, you know I don't know what would have happened if I would have gone downstairs when I heard her calling to me that night or if she was home and not me and heard me saying, mom, help me. So I don't know what would have happened.
So you've actually caught this thing on camera a few times. Can you talk about oh, yeah. just briefly those times? Yeah, a couple of times actually. I've caught in this entity, whatever it is, on camera. At first, the first time I caught it, it really wasn't too crazy. It was just pretty much a shadow behind me. I was, you know, making a TikTok, just talking about something. And then behind me, you could see the shadow move on the wall behind me slowly. And I'm standing still. So there's nothing that could have created that, you know, movement. And it was a shadow entity, pretty much. And then was there was the crazy one, where I was telling a story right here in this living room. And I was, you know, just telling the story exactly like this. And above me is the balcony right there. I had no idea. And I looked at my Instagram because the same person just kept messaging me about 50 times. And I said, all right, this kid really is looking for my attention. So I clicked on him and he told me, please, whatever you do, just look at the top right corner of your balcony while watching your video. And in this video, you could see what looks like a black face with these red eyes that is literally, and I'm home alone during this, peeking, looking at me, and then coming back over and peeking and looking. And it just kept doing that over and over and over again. And we screenshotted it. What you're about to see is what we saw. And it was insane. After I saw that picture, I just knew. I keep hearing so many things. Bro, did you just, that was no, bad. I mean, I've been hearing shit like. That was bad though. All over here, the whole time we've been doing this interview. I know. Dude, that, no, that was bad. I just, I thought I just heard walking right here. No, it's like. <clears throat> I, it sounds like I keep hearing like shit moving around the kitchen. Right and there. Someone right, 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 right there. Said that. Right there. And, right some, and someone like walking on the little walkway right up here. That's exactly That's... where the, what I'm talking yeah. about. And some examples of some of the attacks that have happened on us was, you know, I've been just scratched on my arm. I've been getting like this burning sensation on my back. It's only around the times when, you know. Are you seeing that? What the hell? There's the lights in the kitchen. Look at that, the fucks are going off. See now, when this happens, this happens. <laughs> Every single time on my TikTok videos when something crazy is about to happen, these lights do what that. What the Dude. Every single time in any of my videos that I film and the doors start going crazy or, you know, anything starts happening or I'm getting scratched or any of these videos that I post on TikTok, that right there starts happening. And that's just like a clear signal to me that shit's about to go down. And, you know, this always happens when my parents are away on Cancun, in Cancun like they are now. As you can tell, I got the post-it notes all over the house, and now look. I mean, we've been we've been sitting no, here I the mean, whole time doing that's, this. That's that's what I was about to say. And it's look, not. Look, it's, look, it's, it's not. Oh, oh what the? F what the? F dude, it's not. It's what on. the? F bro, it's on. It's now. not like someone's over here like. Yeah. Not okay. Try to. Dude, it just f stopped. Yeah. The no, moment I mean, we f walked over here, what the f is that? We've been at the house for what, like? A couple hours. A couple hours now. Dude. We've never seen that happen. Yeah, that, that How the f does it stop the moment that we come over? Look, this is the light to this. Here, hit it. So see, we're not messing with the switches at all. The switch is on or it's off. That's it. So it's actually something that's messing with the electric current Look, that's crazy, in the house. Bro. On, I mean off. On, on, off, look. Well, that's just yeah. wild, it started happening during the interview. We walk over here and it stops. It's yeah. like it was calling us, like you're just talking about. You yeah, just I was mentioned the mimic. Yeah, about the mimic. Yeah, it's like something wanted us to come over here, but for what reason? 
Does it seem like every time there's a mimic, it's calling you to like one area of yeah, the house? Yeah, all the time. All the time. As I was saying. The attacks. The attacks. It first started off light. Simple hair pull. Maybe a little scratch. You know, something that you could maybe debunk. But then it became something much, much, much more than that. One one morning I woke up to a burning sensation on my left shoulder. You know, I woke up, I was like, why is my shoulder on fire? Like, what is this, what is going on? And I looked in my mirror, just like this, and right here, it was a gigantic circular mark, probably as big as this circle right here. And it was on my left shoulder, and it was literally a circle with a triangle in the middle of it. And I have nothing that could have imprinted that on my bed that I laid on. It's impossible to just get a scratch with a triangle and a circle perfect like that. I did more research. Some of my followers had also sent it to me. A circle with a triangle inside of it is a mark of the devil or a satanic symbol and it was embedded on my left shoulder and everybody was saying you're marked that feeling that i got after hearing that was another feeling that i'll never forget and it lasted for about i don't know anywhere from three to five days and it was literally it looked like almost like a brand on my left shoulder and then just the other day i was actually using those summoning rods you know i was just asking questions and i had actually just gotten these dolls that i was going to give away to uh colin actually that are supposedly very haunted they came from a house that a lady died and there was these two dolls and uh, the rods right next to them so i was just talk trying to talk to the dolls using the rods and out of nowhere i got this sharp burning sensation on the back of my neck and I didn't know what it was. I took my shirt off and then I felt just like warm liquid just running down my back. So I ran to the bathroom, I turned around and I could not believe it. I had like a river of blood just running down my back from this mark on the back of my neck right here. And it's literally like a hole. And I have no idea how that could have happened. I was literally laying on my bed, on my stomach, looking at the dolls with the two summoning rods and it's just miraculously a hole spawned in my neck and uh, my mom's you know she's experienced some stuff she's had her hair pulled she one time woke up with three scratch marks across her face i would say the battery is dying like abnormally fast i know all of them mine already has i'm at three 20 bars. i'm at 26 percent. that's wild dude what? and these usually like at most, we'll use two batteries in a night, and we've only gotten like an hour of footage. My bar. And we usually have like between, the, like this camera, usually we'll have like seven hours of footage on yeah. in a night on two batteries, and all the batteries are the same size. And this is a brand new camera, brand new batteries, so it's not just like oh, it's a faulty, yeah, battery. So about a month or two after we had settled in this house, my mom was downstairs. Just doing the dishes, it was around 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. By where the dishes are done, there's a window that you stare through and it will show you pretty much across the street. And there's a lamppost that's just there alone across the street from our neighbor's um, house at the time. They actually moved after this happened. My mom was just doing the dishes. She looked up and she saw what looked like a man in a black cloak, just standing there, just staring at our neighbor's house under the lamppost. My mom ran upstairs to my dad, told my dad. My dad thought she was crazy. My, my mom was like, there's a guy standing underneath the lamppost with a black cape or hood or something along those lines. My dad said she was crazy to go to sleep next night. My mom, you know, was cleaning the kitchen, just doing stuff. She glanced through the, that window and again, but this time, it was a black cloak and he was holding a stick. I don't know if he had a, like the blade on it or anything, but he definitely had a stick in his hand. And my mom said he 
kind of glanced over towards our house and it was just pitch black no no face no facial structure nothing no eyes just black my mom ran upstairs told my dad same story my dad thought that she was crazy he was in a dead sleep just to go to sleep next morning those neighbors called my mom hurry up please please come over joe's father's dead my mom ran over there there was a 85 year old man living there. She walked in the room, his room, blue, blue as could be, blue and purple, dead, cold as ice. She did mouth to mouth CPR for about 30 minutes and he was gone. And that was literally the night after, well the morning after she had saw what was, what we think, the Grim Reaper. And uh, he was waiting for him, that just, goes along with how paranormal this whole block is. So I got spirits from everywhere combining and it's pretty much just a cluster of fucking demons and spirits and you're standing in it right now. But you don't know what exactly is haunting your house. Y yeah, I have no idea what it exactly could be. I mean, we've seen some weird shit. We've seen stuff of poltergeist activity. We've seen actual, what looked like demons. Sounds like a man's voice. That light's flickering like crazy all of a sudden when you said that. Look, I, I heard like a man's voice, but it didn't seem like... Like it sounded like it was like right next to me. I didn't hear it. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't hear anything. I'm, so I'm, I'm surprised that y'all didn't hear that. No. No. It sounded like someone like sitting like right over here was like, hey. And the moment you said that, that Seriously? light yeah. started flickering again. It was like, I thought like one of y'all's phones was going off. No, it's a it sound, It sounded like, hey. It's coming after you because it knows your background. Yeah. They could, if they wanted to mimic to be our dog, like barking and you go downstairs and then it's not your dog. I wouldn't be surprised at this point because I really don't know what this house is being possessed by. But, um, sorry, I thought I just saw something. But whatever is in this house, it terrifies the shit out of me. It scares me. And all I know is that it is not good. It is not good. And I need to get it out. We're going to see what happens tonight. And I would not be surprised if this is one of the craziest investigations you guys will see on YouTube or whatever platform this might be on. This is going to be, you know, something for the record books. I'm just excited to see what this is and to know what this is because nobody knows what the fuck this is. And I want to know what the fuck this is because it's just not good and it's doing shit to me and my family and I want it out. Like I said, I really want to know what it is and uh, let's go find out. I think we need to go pay that house a visit that he's talking about. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to go, bro. Let's go. I think we have to. Of all the locations and the things that he's talking about, it's almost like the house. He may have opened himself up as a portal and yeah. he may have gotten this evil violent thing from this house yeah definitely and i think we need to go just like i'd like to show you feels. i'd yeah. definitely like to show you what this house is and what i'm talking about and to see if you guys feel the same way as i do and maybe you know you guys are the experts maybe you could tell me if i'm crazy into thinking that i could have definitely gotten an attachment and brought it here so well, let's go brother Sounds like we gotta go. I'll show you. <laughs> So do you know any of the history of this it's, building? So supposedly it was this crazy 
like witch type guy like I don't even know that what he is or what she is but they said that they were hearing like crazy screams always coming from this house they said that people were being bored over here somehow like come like free stuff here and yeah like they there's this bad 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 what the f is this shit? what the f all this shit hanging up in the woods no, this is like some orange shit. Yeah, no, this is scary, bro. The hell is this? The cross. <laughs> this is wild, <laughs> dude. Obviously, whoever lived here was either artistic or a little disturbed. Yeah. Yeah, I would not have expected this. Yeah. It's Supposedly there's traps. So like oh. this was a rope tied to a bell. So if somebody was to come, these I guess would jingle and let the guy know that somebody was coming. So obviously the guy who lives here and did Nothing. all this he's dead, right? Yeah. Uh, they said they actually don't know what happened. Really? Yeah. Dude, this is really fun. Bizarre. It smells like old house. Yeah. Dude. Look at this shit even. Some old bottles. Potion oh, bottles. Look. It's like witch bottles. Dude, this type of shit was everywhere. Wow, oh, what the f <laughs> What? Dude, no, yeah, you have bro, I'm telling you. That shit was legit everywhere. Everywhere you look, dude. This whole fing wall was those heads. Jeez. And, uh, I guess somebody seen this fucking thing and said, yeah, we're not doing this anymore. Like, what is this? I don't even know what that is. All I know is that, uh, there was old, like, Children shit like this shoes. would be on, like, a fucking stuffed animal doll. Like, weird, weird, weird shit. This is odd. This is really bizarre, dude. I want to see if I could find a human teeth. Look, the doll heads were legit everywhere. And All you just found this house. Yeah, my dad actually found it. He stumbled across it. And Look at this. Like, what the fuck is this? Miami, it's murder. <laughs> so you don't know anything about the history of this. This was just some really bizarre. Yeah, some bizarre, bizarre, bizarre shit. And I remember the doll heads. Right? Oh, there's the totem pole. Where? Right there. Oh, no way. Let's stand it up. I want it. <laughs> dude, that's sick, right? It's like, dude, whoever lived out here. What do you think's up in that attic? Uh, <laughs> Is there? Oh, yeah. I've never been upstairs, to be honest. I didn't even know there really What's was. What's up there? there? A whole bunch of shit. Get a shot. Can't really see anything because it's dark. <laughs> this is straight up unlike any abandoned place I've ever seen. Yeah, dude. for real. I wish it was still like how it was. I mean, um, dude, the human teeth were along this wall. Hey, it literally looks like someone just like built a shed out here. Look, good shit, like heads everywhere, dude. That's all it was. It was heads. Like this is like something out of a legitimate horror, horror movie. movie, like a 1980s horror movie. Like, like the old. You get stuck house. out in the woods, and then the people who live here eat people. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's the old, it's the old like abandoned this. house. Yeah, like what the fuck? Look at this, bro. What is that? Yo, peel that thing off. That's what I mean. Now nah, that looks on. This out here reminds me of 1980s horror movie, House at the End of the Street, all the kids are telling ghost stories about. Never seen a fucking place like this. I mean, doll heads nailed to the walls, creepy little figures. Like, what is that, bro? 
Like, whoever was out here is obviously dead because this was like their home and their shrine. And the energy that they left behind is tangible. It feels weird out here. Yeah. And it's like, I've never seen a place like this. It's strong. Like, you could just feel the creepiness. It's just weird that there's a lot of kids' toys out here. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm thinking like they were trying to lure people into it. But it's also weird. Just like the outside of the house, it looks like someone like came out in the middle of the woods and just like... I kind of put up a shed. I know. Well, let's go check out that house, dude. Look, go away. Go away. Right here. Alien head. F you. Look at that. What is, like, what is that? It's scared me. I mean, like, all of this shit. Like, look at that. Yeah, bro. Look at this shit. I wish it wasn't untouched the way I saw it. Like, what is, like, bro, what is this? Like, what the fuck is this? Seriously. I don't know. Like, he always had these, supposedly they had the wind chimes up, so if somebody was, like I said, walking past, and would set it off. Whoever it was was a paranoid dude. Yeah. Hello? This goddamn microphone just died. So this house, we actually came across it when we were walking my dogs. And, you know, it was an abandoned house. We didn't really look, you know, this closely at it until we actually came over here. And we couldn't believe our eyes what we were actually coming across. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. That house over there, that shed, you know, it had human teeth, doll heads, crazy things hanging up on the walls. And, you know, signs saying, go away, death ahead. And then you turn and you look at this, and I mean, if this doesn't scream negative energy, then I don't know what does. And if you don't think that you might be able to, you know, gain an attachment from coming over here, then you got another thing coming. And you've never been inside this house? Yeah, no, never. This is actually the first time I'm actually stepping a foot inside this house. And to be honest, I'm actually pretty freaked out. Hello? This is like pills, bro. Looks like they're smoking on our side. I mean, this place is trash. I have like, like bro, hold up that painting right there. Look at that, bro. What's it stop? Are those like knife marks, glass marks? Did someone slash through it? Yeah, it's definitely something. Oh, oh. Little girl. Dude, there's satanic shit everywhere in here, bro. Really? Yeah. Maddie, you've never been in here? No. Do you fucking see this, bro? I didn't know it was like this. There's like pentagrams, oh, yeah. 666s. Oh, shit. Pentagrams. It's like every wall in here, bro. Look at the end of the hall. Holy. Dude. Oh, God. Careful, there's a nail on here, man. Bro, I mean, honestly, who knows what the f people were doing in here after this place became abandoned, too. Dude, yeah. Probably nothing good. Like, dude, I'm honestly serious. What do you think about... I mean, you've never been in here. Something coming after you after being in here. Yeah, that's honestly what I'm thinking about now. Do you see what this is? Huh. What is that? Is that bear claws? I don't know what... I think it is. Yeah, those are bear claws. Are you serious? Yeah. Native American. <laughs> 666 over there. Blood. More pentagrams. Oh yeah, 666. This... Six, six, Fuck nine. me. Yeah, nah, this is some, so this is some satanic ass shit in here, bro. Man, this place gives me some like evil fing vibes. Yeah, like something's dude. happened in here that yeah, we don't know about. It definitely does, bro. I feel like somebody's been killed in here. Or at least like satanic. Definitely satanic fing um, rituals and shit. That's what I was gonna say. I what? just heard like buzzing or something. Let's get the fing out of here. Yeah. I'm feeling uncomfortable. Me too. This place definitely gives me the creeps. It's just so bizarre. 
people were like coming in here with like knives and just like slashing shit. I'm surprised there wasn't like any dead animals in here. Like, oh, there probably is. Open it up. Oh. Oh, that was a person. Yeah, dude, that's fucking... You know, you described this place to me. Oh my god, here it is. I was looking for it. There was a mannequin, like, hanging up in the trees, and I guess this is part of it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't understand just how how really strange dude, this is. Dude, it was even worse before. It literally looked like a prop to, like, a fucking crazy-ass scary movie. It still looks like a prop to a crazy-ass scary movie. Yeah. I mean, I really do think that if there was, I mean, this person was obviously doing something really odd back here with the baby heads and doll heads nailed Definitely. to the walls, burned little figures. It's 666 like, all over the wall yeah. and shit. I think you just even coming here could have opened yourself up too. Yeah, definitely. And now we're open too. Wait, and now after we've come out here, I think we're open too. If there's any energy out here and you know this guy right here, if you followed him, I'm inviting you for the night to come follow us and come talk to us because we need to get some answers about what you are. Maybe if you were summoned here, I don't, I don't know what the hell you are, but come back with us tonight. Tonight and tonight only. And then you come can come back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is your home. Yeah. I mean, it's a whole compound of just bizarre shit back here. And this is just in the woods in this neighborhood. Wow, bro. sister look at these texts bro they brought you tell them shit's going on danielle's freaking out we got a bird sage or some shit tonight and when they leave this really ain't too good bro they're literally coming to pick me up because they're that scared that something crazy is going on in the house right now yeah so we're just eating dinner and he has to go outside to take a phone call from your girlfriend yeah and they're literally coming because he drove with us i drove all of us to dinner they're coming to pick him up because they're so afraid of what's happening right now. Like, this is no bullshit. We're not just saying this for the video. They're actually coming here to pick him up because they can't wait for us to get done with, with dinner. Yeah. And this what we're saying, saying was happening? They're saying the lights are flickering on and off, and they're saying shit is literally being thrown across the room. They're freaking out. They told me, we don't care. You're coming home right now because we're not staying here alone. So they're literally on their way to come pick me up to go back. Is this normal? No. No, I mean, shit has happened, like, where, you know, some freaky shit, but they are saying this is, like, over the top right now, that I've never had to be out somewhere and go home. It might have had to do with us going to the fucking house, bro. Dude, yeah. Think about that. Oh, my God, bro. We went to the we house. We invited and it then, to come back. Dude, we went to the house, and then we went, went back to home. the house to get our shit. Oh, fuck, bro. It's probably waiting for us there, dude. dude it knew what we said. it's probably waiting you know? there for us. This is this is insane. That's what happened. And it, now whatever we brought back is with my girlfriend and my sister. So. Well, shit, let's go finish eating quick. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta hurry up. Okay, so they came to pick you up. Yeah. What's I happening? 
So first of all, there was like, I thought you guys came back. There was a bang at the door, the back door. Dogs went crazy, Danielle didn't hear anything. And then I thought, I thought you guys were home, so I went to go check it out and there was nobody there. Nothing, just, just random bang. Yeah. And then the lights in the kitchen. Keep flickering on and off and dimming like a lot. And the second I even walked outside, it stopped. And I keep just seeing things out of the corner of my eyes and I'm freaking out. Like, I can't. I'm freaking out. Just very weird. I'm not into weird. this stuff, so it's scaring the shit out of me. So is this normal to no. happen? No. 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 I've never had a, anything in the house flicker. I've never heard, I've never seen, I've never seen anything in my entire existence of living in this house. And ever since he's ripped those heads off those dolls, there's been nothing for problems as far. Well, shit. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. Since the dolls, literally. Well, drive safe. Don't let a ghost crash your car. Yeah. Whatever the fuck. We'll see you guys in a couple minutes. So, that house. I just want to start out by saying, I don't think I've ever been to an abandoned property quite like that. Not only was it spooky from the graffiti that was left there and the damage that was done after the fact, after it was abandoned, the knives that were stabbed into the fucking paintings and the stuff that was happening in there when the building was empty. But the owner themselves, they collected dolls. They nailed dolls to the walls. They had jars of human teeth. There was something really bizarre happening there and I don't think we'll ever really know what was happening. But it's interesting that Maddie himself did these Ouija boards. He opened himself up to any sort of energy coming into him. And then he visited with his family a place that may have unsavory energy. And that's, it's kind of a mystery because I don't know what the f was going on there. It's a really strange story and I did not expect to find that stuff when we went out there but yeah i'm excited to get into this investigation because it's just such a crazy story the energy in the home is already just oh you can feel it when you're in there but i really feel it around maddie i don't feel it in the house i think it's around him connor what do you think i mean everybody knows that uh when it comes to spiritual energies i tend to be sensitive to it honestly it like it that like kind of hurts my heart for this family knowing that I mean they built this place to raise a family in and to have a good life in and every day they're running into this entity or entities that are oppressing this family I mean there's some really dark stuff happening here I'm mean, Maddie's caught so many things on camera of happening in this house and so to be completely honest I'm really invested on trying to figure out what is going on in this house tonight. And once again, to people who watch our channel regularly, Connor was raised heavily religious. Um, he went to, what's the school called? A ministry school? Yeah. Yeah, and Connor was present at exorcisms in the past. He actually helped perform them. So anytime we encounter demonic or evil energy, these spirits or energies always seem to attack Connor. So I'm interested to see if this thing also has something to say to you. Without further ado. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Yeah, but this ain't a ghost, brother. It's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hope not, man. We've been doing a lot of demon episodes lately, but y'all love them. And honestly, I do want to state before we stop this, I love the demon episodes because the energy is always so much more present and it's actually, I don't know, documentable. Is that a word? Yeah. You can document it because, I don't know, ghosts, they come, they move something, they say a little phrase, but demons, they're there for a reason. They're there to hurt people, attack people. I still don't believe in demons. I'm just, you know, feel, oh, I'm open-minded. There's I negative feel, energy though is what it is. Yeah, I mean, I feel as if, a, like a demonic energy is more intentional with the things that they're doing to affect a family, to mm -hmm. put them in a state of fear where they're living, where they're supposed to be having their everyday life. And they have this evil energy that's following them around to stop that from happening and affect their lives. I feel like more of like a, a per se ghost energy is something that's more just like a presence yeah, that's around air. you. But demonic energies, it's always something that you can you can feel in a location. You can feel an evil and presence around. I feel it in there, don't you? I do. Yeah. So I'm ready to get into this. Are you really? <sighs> Who knows at this point? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. So to start this investigation, because I feel like Maddie has the connection with the demon or whatever the hell this entity is. Definitely. We're gonna do an experiment tonight where Connor and I are gonna sit outside in our car 
we're gonna have FaceTime on with him while we're you know out and he's in here yeah but we're gonna leave him alone in the house and see if we can bait this demon to come out and speak with us definitely i think it's gonna work too because every time i'm alone that's when all this crazy shit starts happening and if we could you know mimic that i think that's what bring it out you've told me in the past when we've talked that and even in the interview that when your parents leave that's when the activity really ramps up. Definitely, right? like strong, strong, yeah. strong, strong. And it's because you're here alone, yeah. and it likes you yeah. specifically. Yeah, I don't know why, but it doesn't it does. like your girlfriend, yeah. any of your family members. It yeah. likes you. Me, yeah, it definitely does. So I think whatever's in here, if we leave him alone, we're gonna kill all the lights yeah. and leave him with some IR cameras, and Sounds maybe we can get this thing to come out so that when we come back in, it'll be here and we yeah. can talk to it. Yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna. Chum Are you okay the with that? Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, Maddie's the bait tonight, man. I'm the bait. <laughs> all right. Put me on the hook. Okay, well, we're going to get all that set up. And yeah, uh, I'm a little freaked out. This house has me a little unsettled after seeing that abandoned house earlier, hearing yeah. the stories. I've been here and actually investigated before with a, lot a show people. that, yeah, I've, I've been filming. I don't know if it's going to be released at this point, but it's coming out soon. And, yeah, this place is fucking creepy, dude. I've never felt like a residential like home that i felt this like unsettled much, like, spiritually like charged energy yeah. not just like oh like oh it's a little spooky in here no it's like i feel like a tangible energy yeah mm -hmm. all around this house it, like, it feels heavy as yeah. shit yeah heavy well you know what's interesting is i was telling him yeah. the last time that i was here years ago if y'all have been watching for a while, the second episode of The Paranormal Files is lost forever. They had been doing a Ouija board in their farmhouse in South Dakota. Oh, shit. And they started out just doing the Ouija board, and it evolved into the dad in the family. He had black eyes, blood pouring from his nose. We had some of the wildest paranormal experiences ever. And Maddie's story reminds me of my own story, of the haunting of my own home. Yeah. where we did the same thing. We did Ouija boards, we built the house ourselves, and I empathize with him because back when my house was haunted, I was the only one experiencing stuff at first, and then my whole family had it happen to them. Yeah. We had psychics come in, we had all this stuff done to the home, and it didn't help. The house was still violently haunted, like really? yeah. getting scratched. My dad had to pull a gun, Papa Spooks had to pull a gun on a spirit, like dead ass. He called Dude. me at 3 a.m. in the middle of the night, He's got a pistol out. He heard somebody run across our entire kitchen up to his bedroom door, and he was the only one in the house. Oh my God. So that's why I'm like, this story matters to me. And yeah. I think we really need to try dive in and figure out what the f is here. Yeah. Because who knows? Seriously, we need to know what the f is going on. But it all starts with my friend here acting as bait. Hey. hey. Put me on the hook. We're getting answers tonight. We're getting answers tonight, baby. <laughs> let's go. So let's kill the lights and uh, let's get spooky. Yes. Yeah. You ready to get spooky? Yeah. We're getting spooky. You ready to get spooky? <laughs> He's ready. Oh. After we chum the waters. After we chum the waters with him, yeah. <laughs> I can't see. I gotta grab this light. So we're Maddie's just, gone. yeah, we're just setting up in Maddie's house. And we didn't even have any cameras ready. No, oh, no, oh, we just wow. set it up to start for your experiment. <laughs> Dude, I mean, that's a strong hit too. Can you Dude. stop? Can you move away from that thing? Dude, it's going nuts. I got full body chills <laughs> right now. <laughs> Me too, bro. This we weren't even rolling. Body. Yeah, we just had- And you down. said off camera, put it on the stairs. You felt something. Yeah. Dude, this is f***ed. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna reset this. That's like, and it wasn't like we turned it on and it immediately turned, like, it immediately started going off. We turned it on, I did a full loop around the house, go back into the kitchen, and then it starts going off. All right, so we're out in the car. We're about to FaceTime Matty. He is uh, in the house alone. I'm excited, dude. Me as well. We're chumming the waters with good old Matty. All right, give him a call. Cat balls going nuts. Which one? Oh. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> right there. This thing's going off too. Oh shit, right there. It's 
coming both directions, dude. Uh, dude, I was just yelling at it while you guys were, while I was waiting for you guys just to start it up. Well, Maddie, why don't you put the uh, phone somewhere where he can see you, and then just focus on... Petey, what's wrong? Petey's acting weird. Your dog? Yeah, I'm filming it. Damn. Maddie's in the house. He's already had some things going off, and, uh... Maddie, to really bring you into this investigation, we want you to start the spirit talker and call out to the demon. The energy, and see if it'll come in to be with you. All right, you ready? Start it now and, and make your demands. All right, let's do this. All right, call out to it. All right, whatever's in this house, I'm standing right here. I'm wide open. Come and get me. I want to know what the f you are. If you want to fucking, you want to come get me? Come get me right now. I'm right here because guess what, mother? I want you the f out of this house. This is my house, not yours. Mine. My fucking house. <laughs> <We're not. laughs> Yo, you're cussing at it and it tells you it's not nasty. Yes, it is. Yes, you are. Stop acting. Stop acting like you aren't what you are. We know what you are. It just came in. It just came in. We know what you are. We know what you are. We know what you are. We know that you're demonic. We know that you're not a nice and friendly ghost. We know what you are. You're fake as fuck. Stop pretending to be my sister. Stop pretending to be me. Stop pretending to be any of my family members because you're not that. You are not that. And we all know it. So show yourself what you really are. Oh. People keep running? We've never gotten that response before. People keep running? Are they talking about... Oh my god. Okay, well I'm not running anymore. I'm right here. I'm right here for you. Come and get me. Are you here right now? Yes or no? I just muted him. I'm concerned for him me? right now. Whatever's here with him is it's, not It's good. there. I am right here. Ask it to come towards look, you. Look, look. Right there, right there. What the fuck? I just heard something over there. Ask it to come towards you. Keep drawing it in. I am right here waiting for you. I command you to come. <laughs> I command you to get over here. <laughs> <laughs> the others scare me. The others scare me. The that, others scare me? That's what the spirit talker said? Is that what it said? Yeah, you get it? Yeah, maybe you're talking to a spirit that's not the demon yet. It said we're not nasty. Maybe you're talking to the peripheral spirits. Oh, shit. You need to keep talking to the demon. Specifically call out the yeah. demon. Tell it to come. Bring me the one who is the violent one. Bring me the one that is causing all the problems. I know you're not nasty. I know the one is. Bring him to me. That's the one I want to talk to. That is the one I want. Dude, I just... What happened? Dude. I really hope I got that on camera. Oh my god. The children are hurt. Oh my god. I'm bugging out, bro, what I just saw. The Dude. children are hurt. He's the children yes. of the house. Well, also, he might be talking to kids right now. Yeah. Yes. No Bro, the psychic, Tony the psychic said there's two little girls, and I have it on my TikTok. Two little girls' spirits in this house. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Two little girl spirits in this house. See if you can talk to the two little girls that are there. 
So I know one of them is a big bully. And I know he bullies you around. Can you tell me where he is? Can you... Did the REM pod hit? Oh! They found my, my body. body. What the f The REM pod just went off though. For a second. Okay. It's coming to you, dude. You have to keep going. You were found by this demon. I guess the demon found your body. And now it's taking over what you want to do. And I know it's not what you want to do, but can you bring me to him? Or bring him to me. Lure him to me. I need to meet him. I need to come face to face with him now, tonight. Whatever you are in this house, whatever you may be, get the fuck over here right now. Face me one on one. Ask it to set off one of the REM pods to touch it, the red lights. It did. It, it did? did? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. yeah, ask it to keep doing that. Face me one on one. Face me one on one. Face me one on one. Touch the red light. Go near it. And that's will be that's the way you can come and face me. Touch the red light. There's a red light there and a red light by the stick. Again. We're not nasty. What? what? The, f the same thing twice. It's almost trying to convince you, bro, that it's not nasty. That means it's nasty. Yeah. You're lying to yourself. We know what you are. We know what you are. Okay, Maddie, I want you to announce to this energy that you're going to give it a minute or two to do whatever it can to show you that it's here. And I want you to stay silent and see what happens, all right? So, if you want to come and face me, man to man, come in this area where I'm at, and I'll let you get your steam off, do what you got to do. You could f with any of this equipment over here, and I'm going to be right here waiting for you. You know what I'm doing. I just showed I just told you what I was doing. I think so too. I have this weird feeling right now. I have this really eerie feeling. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't like the fact that Dude, we're- Dude, his Wi-Fi just went yeah, out. It doesn't like the fact that we're fucking, we're on to it. Yeah. It doesn't like that. It's and, trying to And we're, we're showing that that entity has weakness. Dude. Do you see his fucking Wi-Fi just went out? His phone. Uh, what the f The call just... Wait. The call just disconnected. Yo, what the f is going on? Have you ever seen this on your phone? No. It's not even We're getting... screen recording, so that's good. It's not even... Yo, getting... what the f is that, bro? Yeah. Can we even go inside? Hold up, call him back, call him back.
What? What the f Yo. What the f Wait, show the screen? It just said f me. It just said f I don't want to go. go in. No. And your call just dropped to us right when that started. Right when that started. Yo! My car just turned off! Dude! My car just turned off! And it's fucking thing! Give me the camera! My car just turned off by itself! Oh my god, bro! My car was on! Connor, it might be out here with us too! Dude! Dude, it's in here with me. That's what it's going on. Dude! 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 Keep going, Maddie. This is what you want. But also, my car just turned off. We have to make a note of that. Dude. Spirit Talker's never done this. No. Bro, what is going on? Dude, dude, I'm shaking right now. Keep going, Maddie. Just as a note for our camera, we've never seen this on the Spirit Talker ever. There's, you can't hit a button to make that happen. And in addition, my fucking car just shut off. It was on with the gas. It just fucking shut off by itself. The moment, the moment your proximity meter off, went off in there. Maddie, that means you're doing something good. Come over here now. I'm right here. I'm right here. What the f What the f Come and get me. I think it's out here I with us too, bro. To it followed us get out here. This my, is some my, car. Evil. my car is this off. This is some it. evil shit. Here, look it. I'm just going to show this too. Motherfucker, look. Look. Look, it just set off. It's f***ing off. Rim pod just went off. <sighs> Motherfucker, get over here. Look, it just set it off. Motherfucker. Get over here. Look, it just set it off. Motherfucker, get over here. Look, it just set it off. <laughs> I'm fucking losing my shit right now. I mean, what the fuck just happened with the car, too? Oh, that's it's the same here at the same time. time. Dude, this shit is freaking the fuck out. Dude, something touched the back of my head. Hey, Maddie, I want you to stay calm. Let this thing know you're the fucking boss. Hit the green button on the spirit talker, turn it on and off. Dude, I did and it's still going. Dude, it's still going, I turned it off. I've used the spirit talker for year, year and a half now. I've never seen that once. I turned it off. Loading, loading, loading. I just heard something over here. Is that, is that going off? Hold on. Dude, I just heard something. This is what? Never Yo, found. your light just went out. Your light just no. went out. No! The light's dead? Yeah. That's a full fucking battery, bro. Brand new. Just started like 30 minutes ago. Nah, bro. I'm bugging out. Man. No, keep going, bro. You're in night vision on the cameras. Get that thing to come the fuck out. Tell it to bring out everything it's got and set off the REM pods. Get over here now. This is exactly what you want. You're doing it exactly, bro. You're pouring it in there. This is exactly what you want. You want me to be scared and I'm not scared of you anymore. 
I am not scared of you anymore. I'm concerned. Me too, we've never seen some shit like this. Multiple batteries dead, light dead, proximity meter, cat balls, REM pods, spirit talker, spirit talker going crazy, I keep like my fucking car dying. I'm not scared of you, I know this is what you think you're doing to me. But guess what? I'm stronger than you. Cause I got God on my side. Jesus Christ. Come. They found my body. Again. Again. Whose body did they find? Use something else. Use something else. Use something else? What do you want me to use? Yo, use that thing. Use the yes or no. Ask it questions. Okay, you want to use something else? Are you here with me right now? Yes or no? It said yes. Keep asking. Are you a demonic spirit? Do you want Colin and Connor to come in the house? Do I have to click anything? No, just keep waiting. Just wait a second. Ask it again. Do you want Colin and Connor to come into the house? Well, if it's yes, it will just stay yes. It'll hit it. It'll make a noise. <gasps> Did my camera just f***ing die? What the f***? What the f***, Connor? What the f***, bro? Wait, are we screen recording on this? My f***ing camera with the full f***ing... Oh. Bro! Bro! Look at this. We were just filming this whole f***ing clip. Look at this. Dead. Hold up. I'm showing this on screen recording. Do it again, Connor. Nothing. Completely f***ing fried! I the, think we need to go in there with Maddie. Think the pod know. just- the pod just went off. The red pod? Yeah. Nothing. Completely f***ing fried! Nothing. Completely f***ing fried! So if you're here with me, make a knock of any sort of noise, anything you want, any type of noise only. Make a noise if you're here. My God, get in the what house, what just happened? bro. I just heard a big bang come from within the from the in your guys's room. Don't go down there. You're with the good spirit right now. The demon is somewhere else. Dude, your camera just died. What? It's dead. The camera just died too? Dead. We're dealing with something else. Yo, this is honestly the people who are watching this video. This is nothing to f with what we're dealing with right now. All the woman scares me. The woman scares me. Dude, you guys gotta get in here. Okay, we're coming in right now, dude. Okay, so our camera is dead. Our camera in there is dead. And we were out here, show the car. <laughs> this is where we were on the street. Here's Maddie's house. Uh, we don't know what the f is going on with him right now. Oh, I know some fucking crazy shit's going down inside. All I know is this is way more than we were prepared to deal with immediately. But I'm glad it came through because we want to talk to this thing. Addy, you good? Demons in the basement. What's going on? Demons in the basement. Doctor, the demon is in the basement. It just said. Yes, it just said yes, Connor. Look at that. It just keeps saying yes to the three cars. It keeps saying yes. You got that on camera, yeah. too. Look, yes again, Connor. Yes again. What the f? Dude, 
Bro, what? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. So, we're back in here. Show show the f***ing camera to the people online. Bro, look at this camera. Look. Look at the light. Battery's look dead. Look at the battery. Completely f***ing fried. Dead. I couldn't believe it. And, uh... We're all around all you. around you. Bro. Where are you? Dude, what was going on before? Can you, can you show us? Touch one of those devices. Dude, no, what was going on before was up with that with that spirit talker and making all those noises we use that thing every investigation never one in time in this channel's history now when we heard it going off like that we we're like Whoa, what the guys, f is that shit disconnected and then that started going yeah down. the moment that that happened too yeah. you know, I was yeah. like, Yo, and my, my car battery died the moment that someone walked into this room it's connected to all of us now dude yeah it is it's almost like since we went to the house together it's yeah. It knows all of us. Yeah. It came out to the car. It came in here. It f***ing wants all of us. It does. It's saying it is in the basement. We're going to have to go in the basement. We need to go to the basement. We're so going to have to bring all this stuff We're going to pause this for a second. Get new batteries in all of our cameras. Yeah. I can't even believe this shit. Me either. Well, no, th that doesn't f***ing happen. What did it say? Stay and talk. Stay and talk. When we're talking about going to the basement, oh it says stay God, and talk. Bro. It's trying to get us to not go to the basement because it, doesn't want it knows what's basement. evil down there. We're gonna head now to the basement. Like I said, we gotta regroup and put new batteries on our cameras, but I'm a little bit, not a little bit, I'm, no, I'm highly on edge. I'm freaked I'm the f out right, right now. We, we've never seen that. Dude. Hello there. What is Hello there. Get our stuff together and let's do this. All right, so we just set up down here. We're waiting for stop. Maddie. <laughs> and the proximity meter and the music box are going off over here. And it's facing the rocking chair that it's haunted and the Freddy Krueger that he thinks is haunted. Which is interesting that the music box and the proximity meter are going off because that means the music box is detecting something standing right there and the proximity meter is detecting something standing in front of it, which proves it. I'm gonna reset both of the. <laughs> I'm gonna reset both of these. <gasps> what the f, dude? This thing was just on the whole time upstairs, and it was not hitting. <gasps> Are you over there right now? If you're down here with us right now, can you make a knocking noise? Or any noise at all to let us know that you're down here with us. <laughs> it's a weird timing. <laughs> what the f was that? I don't know. Sound like a scratch from over there. Yeah. All right, I wasn't rolling, but that static was. And this REM pod just started tweaking out. This static got it. All right, thank you. I'm gonna reset this. There is an energy here, and. It's following him. When he leaves, it sets the stuff off. And then when Connor and I are here, nothing's nothing. happening. Nothing. We've been down here five minutes. Nothing happened. It's really weird, dude. Even the spirit talker's been on. Hold up. I'll zoom in on that. And it hasn't said a word since he left. Yeah. So I'm really starting to think that whatever's here is attached, is attached to him. It's not the house that's haunted. It's Maddie. It's him that's haunted. What did I miss? Not much. Not too much. It seems to follow you, brother. We know that. 
So to start off our session in the basement, we're gonna do a spirit talker session. We've got all the devices set up, static uh, meters, we've got REM pods, the music box that was already going off, the proximity meter that was already going off. We're gonna do the spirit talker for a while. And then after we get some sort of an answer or figure out where this thing is down here, we're gonna do a DR60. Is Freddy ready? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why the f do you have that thing down here? Dude, because we don't want to be fing seeing that thing upstairs. Imagine waking up and that It's thing looking is... right at you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. And its eyes would be moving left and right. And it's not even connected to any wires or anything because it's it broke. But the eyes still move as if it wasn't broke. So since this is Maddie's house and he's the one that's been affected, we're going to let him do most of the talking here. Yep. So Maddie, why don't you ask for the demon, mm -hmm. whatever the hell it is, to come out. So we've been, you know, given clues and led down here to this basement. And we believe that the demon resides down here. So if you are down here, demon, we are calling out to you and telling you to come forth. Show yourself down here. Oh, it's me. You must help. <laughs> you must help. Okay. What do we need to help with? Probably heard like a jingle. With a jingle. So, to whoever's in here, it's in your hand. If you're holding it, and I've got the camera right here. This is a device that helps you have conversation with us. That way you can have words and not just actions. If you want to tell us anything, you can tell us through this app. We're going to introduce ourselves right now properly um, because we weren't in here before. You know Maddie, but... The children are heard. Again, the children are heard. The children sing. <laughs> you know, kids are a sign of demonic activity. Yep. So, I want to introduce ourselves. My name is Colin, whoever you are. My name's Connor. And you know who I am, Maddie. So if you see any of these lights around this room, the red Stand light. Stand Stand it's Stand the same talk. couple answers the whole time we're here. Yep. The children are hard. If you see any of the red lights, the blue lights, if you touch any of them, it'll let us know that you're here. And you can also use your voice to try and talk to us. Or you can make any loud bangs, knocks, move anything you want. Let us know that you're here. Any of the above you could do. Hello, friend. Hello. Are you guys, are you here now? Are you with us? Let us know you're with us. It's right here. Where are you right now? I know you're hiding in the shadows. You're trying to make us afraid of you. What is in your hand? On mine oh, too? Fuck. Is that what it said on yours? Yeah, Maddie? yeah. Same thing. I use my voice. <sighs> okay, instead of the knock, use your voice. Use Why your you voice. Scream at us. Tell us what you really want. Come, come, come talk to us. I'm here to put the lips. Oh, shit. I'm standing right here. Oh. Where are you standing? Can you show us? Just touch one of our devices. Any device. 
touch us. Let us know that you're really here. Use something else. What do you want us to use? It's saying use something else. I'll, I'll use my voice. How about the DR60? Let's do the DR60, yeah. yeah. Where's that? It's the recorder. Can I bring it out? Oh, look at something just stepped right here. Whoa. Oh, you heard that? Yep. Did you hear that? Okay, so you're right here. Are you happy that I grabbed this device that you can talk with? You hear that? Oh, the moment I grabbed the DR60, it just went off. And look, it's not me. You have to get, look at, look at how close you have to get to it. Dude, the green, though, as soon as that green went off, I heard it, like, step yeah. into it. Sit and talk. That, oh, oh! Dude, sit and talk. It sit wants to use this device. The DR60 is what it uses to sit and f***ing talk. Okay, you're obviously here. Okay, to the demon or whoever's here, we know you've been saying you want to sit and talk, and you've wanted us to actually sit down and just listen to what you have to say. We have this tool this thing that will help us hear your voice. So we're going to be very quiet, ask you some questions. Why don't you actually talk to us? I know Maddie wants to hear what you have to say, right? Definitely. I want to hear what the fuck this thing wants for me. Oh. Right, we're about to do the, the wow. DR60. Here we go. Someone just came in. Oh. Yeah, something's here. Something's definitely here. Definitely here. All right. If we got your attention, we want you to speak into this box. Small. Huh. You want to shut that off? It's here. Definitely. Thank you for proving that you're here. All right, we're gonna use this device right here. We wanna hear what you have to say. So just talk, okay? Hello there. Yeah. Again. I'm gonna hit record. Let's give about 45 seconds between, 30, 40 seconds between each question. All right. Are you a demonic entity? Why are you attached to Maddie? Do you consider yourself to be a demon? Do you want to hurt any of us? Hospital. How many are there of you? Why are you copying people that live in this house? Don't go down there. Again. How long have you been here? So you followed Maddie. Why? Have you followed him? Look, I'm here. If you're here with us right now, why can't you show yourself to us? We've seen you in pictures. We've heard what you've done. Why don't you do that shit tonight? What is your purpose in this house?
My final question. Do you want Maddie alone? It seems like you only like it when he... I'm standing right here. Yeah, you're standing here. But it seems like you only come out when he's by himself. Is that what you want? Yes or no? People keep running. Okay, I'm gonna let you listen. What was that? Hospital. How many are there of you? What is in your hand? Why are you copying people that live in this house? You don't go down here. Oh, go back. Go back. Go. How do you go back? How long have you been here? Oh my God, bro. You can hear something whispering. What was that? What is your purpose in this house? Are you oh, oh f <laughs> I heard kill. Just kill. Did you walk Maddie alone? It seems like you only like it when you eat. I'm standing right here. Yeah, you're standing here. But it seems like you only come out when you eat by himself. Is that what you want? Yes or no? People keep running. I heard it again. Okay, play that again. We gotta hear the fucking... Bro. I heard... I heard... Kill. Kill. Kinda like that. Play it again. Play it again. Play it again. What is your purpose in this house? Kill! Kill! Oh my god. Kill! Bro, bro that's so bad. I thought it was you. Bro, there's this one that if you like, I don't know if you guys can hear if you went right yeah, next to your slow ear. Down. But yeah, bro, that's bad. Like I can hear it, like a a lady whisper. But I gotta say, you know what's really weird about this activity is it seems like it's so crazy when it's just Maddie. Yep. It's it's so only bad. crazy when it's just him. It's like, I mean, at the very beginning of the night, we had so much insane activity, but he was, when I was, but alone. He was alone. So it's like, maybe we should try that again and separate a little bit. I don't know, dude. I have a weird feeling about this place. I have a weird feeling about this guy. I feel like it's attached to it's, to it's attached to you, not the house. That's what I think, too. That's what everybody says to me, too. I really think it is attached to me. So what do we do? I'm not really feeling too much down here, yeah. honestly, right now. Um, so I kind of want to go back to the roots of all this and maybe break out the Ouija board upstairs in the attic. I mean, that's really like the first contact of this place was using the Ouija board up there. Yeah, so thinking, that's where it all started. We go up there, do that, and then after we're done with that, maybe break out the S's. 
Yeah. Let's do I it. think that's a great idea. All Let's right. do it. So pretty much this is the the room everything started. This is where we started the Ouija board. This is where, you know, all of the crazy fucking Let's see if I can find it. This is where the first days of the good old, I guess, Ouija board started. In that attic right there. Is this the Ouija board? No. So this is the second coming Ouija board. The first one we burned. And <laughs> that didn't go well. And we burned it. It wouldn't burn. We got rid of it. It came back. So we ended up getting it. We ended up, like, finally bringing it somewhere, getting rid of it. Unfortunately, we ended up getting a second one, thinking that maybe we can close the portal from the first one, but we didn't learn that you still need that board to close that portal that you opened up. You need, you can't use a second board to close the portal from the first. And now we still have this one. And, you know, this one has brought some fucked up shit. And I would like to burn this one, but I heard that burning is not the option or not like a fucking good thing to do. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess we could use it and we'll see what the fuck happens. Yeah. If, so. if it comes, if it comes, it comes. If not, I mean, I do see something. I do feel like something will so happen. So this is the attic, though, where yeah, yeah. everything really started. Yep. This is, I had this cross on a pillar up there. Pretty much, you know, like this on a pillar. And I had this Bible and the Ouija board. This Ouija board, this Bible, and this cross up there. And I just filmed overnight. And I had the planchette on the Ouija board. The planchette, this is after going through hours of video, I saw the planchette roll off the Ouija board. An orb from the Ouija board comes flying to this cross and then you slowly just see the cross turning and it got to about that far and then it fucking goes back down but this is this is the cross right here so there's something evil up in the attic you would say oh yeah for sure that's that's really where it that's ground is. zero yeah it's ground zero this is where it all started and uh <laughs> I guess we'll figure it out, right? Well, buddy, I think this is where it started tonight. This is where it'll end. This is where it ends. Let's do it. So let's go up and let's figure out what the hell this goddamn thing is. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video, let's smash that like button and comment demons are scary in the comments section below. I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So go comment, you can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. And we have some really exciting collabs coming up soon. Videos with Exploring with Josh, Nick Groff from Ghost Adventures and Twin Paranormal, along with some other really, really crazy investigations, locations and evidence. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. So we're up in the attic right now. This is where you started. This really? is where everything started. Yeah. Real quickly, we have one of Maddie's Ouija boards. Yeah. And we're just gonna open the portal. We're not gonna do anything crazy. We're just gonna try to... Coax it out. Yeah, see if we can draw whatever's here out into this attic. So... Spirits around us, we are now opening a portal and we are giving you permission to come and speak with us. Oh, shit. We are now opening up a portal for you to come speak to us. Anybody can come through and make contact with us as you wish. Use the letters to contact and say what you'd like to say. We're gonna end tonight. It's almost 2.30 a.m. We've been investigating for a while now. Yeah. And this has been, <laughs> this has been a crazy day, I gotta say. Fuck. Insane. Yeah, I don't know still what the hell is here, but it, it does not seem human and it does not seem good. No, definitely not. Good. No.
And so we're gonna put Maddie under the Estes method. And Connor and I are gonna ask the questions. We got all the devices, the music box, the REM pods, all of them. Everything we need. Still. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, man, here. Can you hear us? Okay, so we're up here right now trying to figure out who is here in this house. My name's Colin. My name's Connor. His name's Maddie. You know him. I hear that this attic is where you guys really started to communicate with this family. Can you tell us why? You wanted to talk to these guys? This is it. What's it, the attic? It is time. What? It's time to talk, you mean? Look over there. Over where? Why did you choose Maddie? Up we go. Why did you choose Maddie? Playtime. Is this all just a game to you? Whoa. I just heard like a loud like grow like growl can you tell me yes or no are you human what is your end goal here hurting you want to hurt Maddie I I want to know did you come from the house that we went to today dolls What about the dolls? Were you attached to them? In me. The dolls were a part of you? Consequences. Is this maybe the consequences of using a Ouija board at this house? Leave. Why do you want us to leave? Do you think we're getting closer to the truth of why you're here? What hurts? I'm hearing like whispering of a lady and it's freaky as fuck. I'm trying to piece together. I feel like in a sense it's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's like there's so much going on. I oh know. It's too much. Who's here with we'll us? We'll suffer. Huh. But it's it's negative. 100% you know? negative. Why are you so negative? Can you answer us that question? Oh no. Here we are. Where are you? Tell us, where are you? We want. What do you want? Pain. You want to inflict pain. I get that, but where did you come from? Below. Does that mean hell? Or your definition of the underworld? Heat. So are you trying to hurt Maddie? Just tell us the truth. We won't tell him. Run away. Run, run, run. It's been seen all night too. Run, run. run. 
Okay, so you're here with us. Why? What do you want from this guy? It's so strong, you gotta reset it. Is there anything we can do for you? I'm watching. You're watching, but why won't you talk to us? That's the question. Cannot wait. It doesn't want to talk. It's like, it's the I'm whole night. You, it doesn't, doesn't want anything to do with us. No. And But it wants everything to do with him. Yeah. That's the focus of all this, is this guy. It's fucking crazy. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, even just like the spirit talker glitching out. That's earlier. never happened. It's never. Death. Oh, oh. oh my god, the way it sounded, death sounded so scary. Is that your end goal? Eventually. Eventually. What the f, dude? Oh. So, you, you don't want to talk to us, really, but can you tell us what you want? You want death? Is that true? You basically want- oh! What the f*** is going on, dude? Is that- is that true? You want Maddie to die? Get out! <sighs> Get out! Whoa, 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 What the f was that? Oh. Okay, we're not getting out though. We're here for our friend. You have to tell us what you want with this guy. We're trying to help you, but he's not gonna die for you. Deadly. It said that early. Oh, it said kill earlier too. Mm -hmm. Do you want Maddie's? What? Problem. Oh my god, bro. What? That was in this. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What happened, bro? That was scary as fuck, bro. I literally just got like a fucking chilling like. Death scream, bro. Yeah, bro, I just got the scariest sound in my fucking headset, bro. That was so fucking, bro, it sounded like a, like a lady was getting murdered. Keep going, keep asking. What's your name? No concern. No concern for what? I am the... You are the what? This thing is just evil, bro. And I just, I- Tyrant. <laughs> You're the tyrant. We're not gonna get answers here. This is typical, whatever you wanna call it, demonic behavior. Mm -hmm. It doesn't tell you what it is. It doesn't tell you what it wants. Cause it knows it's what it wants. It's just present. It's just fucking What here. the? F bro. Whoa, I need blood. I need, I need. You're, you're torturing this family. What can they do to get you to leave? Butcher. Jesus. It needs blood. What can they do to make it leave butcher, butcher or something? You what need you... a sacrifice? It says kill, butcher. It's got to be one of the most evil things that we've dealt with. Who skinned? <laughs> what the fuck okay. sacrifice? Dude. Yeah, what? Who do you want skinned, or what do you want skinned? What are you talking about? It said your name. It just Shut said your the name. Up. It I just said your God, name, dude. bro. What the fuck? Why do you want me? I'm not afraid of you. 
And you can't have me. <gasps> the music box. You will go. I'm not going anywhere. You can't have me. I'm not afraid of you. Now it's trying to scare us. <gasps> It's trying to scare us, Connor. What the fuck? He's looking right at me. Look at that. Bro, I'm getting that scream again. <gasps> Didn't that happen the last time yeah. this thing went off? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Good. Now, why don't you do something about it? Yeah, we're happy that you're here. You're showing us that you're here. Who are you? That's the question that we have. What are you doing here? Big. What, what, do you, what do you want from this family? What can we do to help you out? Besides killing somebody. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Done for. Once again, bro, this thing is just evil this is fucking blood dude yeah even even when you deal with these types of energies you can ask all the questions you want blood you just said you can ask all the questions you want and it's when still it's got it's it's got one thing on its fucking mind it's blood yeah it'll never answer any questions it'll just tell you over and over again it wants death blood and I'm scared for this guy. I don't know. You know, we can't... Footsteps. How? You can't... You, unfortunately, you can't do much. I don't know. Encourage them to stay strong. Yeah, people online tell us... Knife! It's just, like, super violent. Yeah, and people tell us to, like, help move spirits on, but it's like, we don't know how to do that. And this, this is this is, doesn't want to be moved. No, on. and this is obviously a strong, angry. I'll it's, tell you right now, since we've gotten up here in the attic, I'm gotten like the worst yeah. fing headache in I know, my me whole too. life. Okay, we're gonna end this soon. Bleed for me. Oh my god. Bleed for me? What the f is going on? Bro, that shit is Screaming. Oh! Oh! Oh, your light just died. Bro. That's a full. F <laughs> That's our. What is that, our fourth battery tonight? Bro, I just heard the loudest fing scream in here. Yo, it's, it's fing pitch black, bro. It's completely black. I don't even have my phone up Me here. Me either. Do you, Maddie? I thought I did. I don't know if I do. Yeah, that lights. Shit. Yeah, we gotta yeah, we, we gotta cut. On here. Yeah, we gotta cut this, bro. I think whatever's here is getting too strong right now. We just gotta end this. Yeah. All right. How we turn the lights on? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> All right. For everybody who watches this, we do close out the portal. Sometimes we just don't catch it on camera. Yeah. At the end of the night, all of our batteries have continuously kept dying the whole night. It's miraculous that these statics stayed on this whole time. The camera light batteries dead. Was this thing dead. saying crazy shit to what yes. you were asking? Yes. Yes. Are you Re serious? Really bad stuff. Really bad stuff. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And so, I don't. I don't know what to do here except. I think we got the answer that we needed tonight. I gotta tell you, bro, this is fing evil. It's bad. Whatever's bro. here, whatever's here is not good. And I've known I'm, that. I'm sorry to tell you that after looking at all the evidence, but it, it just points to the fact that whatever's here is. It, I, I, and we don't know what to do exactly. I mean, we're not exorcists. Yeah. <laughs> I think we helped prove to you that, that there is something that's bad here. Bad. But it likes you specifically. It doesn't like Connor and I. It doesn't like anybody else. It just wants it, me. It likes you. It's blowing um, my mind how fast our batteries are getting drained. I know. We changed this battery out before we came up here to 8%. <laughs> it was at 69. Yeah. Are you for real? 8%. Yeah, and then that should last at least an hour and a half, two hours. Usually like three. 
So has that happened at other places like that? No, drain that no, bad? No. Nothing. That's like a, that's what I'm saying. Happening. Something's yeah. affecting everything, and I don't feel good. Yeah. It's like I feel like I have a f pounding headache. Yeah. 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 And we, I will say, we asked for this thing to come out. So my I'm head not gonna is tell like people online that pounding. Oh, it's it's crazy. This is what we wanted tonight, but yeah. it's unfortunate that it's proving that whatever the f is here is is just not good. Yeah. yeah. It's just negative as f Maybe you'll get more answers soon on your own. Because we got to go tonight. It's, it's 3.30, almost 4 a.m. So we're f***ing exhausted. But yeah. Let's close this thing out, bro. Yeah. Let's get the f*** out of here. Thank you for coming out and speaking to us. We are now closing the portal. And you will go back to wherever you're coming from. Thank you for communicating with us tonight. Goodbye. <laughs> Almost right when we started the Estes, the AC turned off. And then right when we said goodbye, it turned back on. Yeah, energy. Yeah, I knew this shit was bad. Yeah. <gasps> Yo, it just f***ing left the room. Oh it just f***ing left the room, bro. That is crazy. It was just up here with us. I'm telling you, bro, this shit is I'm telling you, this shit is Dude, I don't even right. know what I would do if I was here. If I was here alone, bro, it would be it would be way worse. I'm like happy though. Like I'm not here alone. Oh yeah. You don't know how scary it is. Oh, I'm 100% sure on that. Like, dude, when I'm telling you, like every like waking moment, just imagine this. Like, just you seeing this in the corner of your eye, down the hall, and then hearing this. Or three, or fucking just. You hearing your one of your family members saying, Connor, come here, come here Connor. Come here. Yeah. Woke up, bro. It was spilt all over. So Colin came to my house. He did an investigation. As you guys have already seen or will see, the investigation was pretty crazy to say the least and about 24 hours after he left and we kind of you know antagonized whatever was in my house I was home alone and I was emptying the dishwasher later at night around 11 o'clock and then you know I went upstairs chilled for a little bit went to sleep and then in the middle of the night I heard like crashing noises downstairs and I ran downstairs and all the cups that I took out of the dishwasher that I put on my counter, all over the floor, all over, the, all over the floor, and they were far away from the edge of the counter. Hello! <laughs>